Okay, this is what I say to my friends and you're my friends. If I tell you this, if I bring you along on this journey, I don't wanna hear anything about it. I don't wanna hear your negative side comments. I don't wanna hear you're gonna regret this. Remember what happened last time? I don't wanna hear it, okay? I've made the decision and it's happening. Today could honestly not be panning out better. I'm a stay at home mom, I love it that way. I try once a week to get them minded and I usually just get work done. Today, my mom is having the boys and literally seven minutes ago, this salon up the road from me, they contacted me saying they could fit me in to get my color done, okay? Just the color. Because last week on TikTok, I made this video announcing that I wanted to have this full hair transformation. And I was kind of like asking my TikTok community, am I having a midlife crisis? Which the answer is no. Like I know deep in my soul, this is not a midlife crisis. This is just my personality. First of all, I love hair transformations. And second of all, when I tell you the kind of hair that I want, if you've been here since 2017, you'll be like, yes. This all makes sense. Circling back to this couldn't get any better in terms of timing. What are the chances that Pelo by Lago, Pelo by Lago is the hair salon, by the way. What are the chances they slide into my DMs and say, hey, are you free in half an hour to come in? And I'm like, I actually am. I'm never free in terms of like, I always have my children. Anyway, I know it's meant to be, okay? If I needed a sign that I wasn't having a midlife crisis and this was meant to be, it was that. So I know what you're thinking, shut up. Get to the point, what are you doing? I need a mirror. Hold that thought for just a second. I made a promise to myself and I made you guys, well, I asked you guys to keep me accountable of said promise back in 2018, 2019 maybe. That promise was to never get extensions again. I'm sorry, I, I will get to this story, I swear, but I am sweating. I'm getting a sola, which is not ideal. Let's just change into a summer robe. Here we go, love it. Okay, back to the story. I think it was around 2016 that I made the decision to get extensions for the first time, hair extensions. I've always had super thin, fine hair since I was born. It's just genetic. My mom has the same hair. My little sister has quite similar hair. My older sister, she was blessed with Rapunzel jeans. Me, not so much. If you remember Lady Lovely Locks, this, <laughs> this character, like I wanted to be her. Lush's hair has just like always got me going. And like, it sounds so silly, but honestly growing up, I was just so excited to have thick, luscious, long Lady Lovely Locks hair. And it never happened. It never happened for me. And that's okay. So in 2016, I decided, you know what? I'm gonna get extensions. And if you remember, you remember. It was like a turning point in my personality. I'm pretty sure it was when I was going through my breakup. And you know, when you go through a breakup, you have to change your hair, right? It's it's like a rite of passage to heartbreak. It was, and still to this day, has been the happiest I've ever been with my hair. Side note, when I first met Kurt, my now husband, he invited me on this surf trip, and this was like date number three. He tells me now it was like initiation, Ew, to see if I like got along with his friends, and like, I don't know, if I could camp and like not be a princess. He saw me saw me thinking I was this like chill surfer girl with like long, I'm gonna put a picture here. This is what I look like. This long blonde surfy hair. Little did he know 95% of that hair is not my own. So I ended up going on a surf trip camping. And let me tell you, hair extensions are not meant for the surf, let alone a surf trip with no showers and no conditioner. We hadn't even like properly kissed or anything yet. And I remember panicking thinking, oh my gosh, we're gonna have like our first proper romantic kiss. And he He's gonna put his hands up in my head and like kiss me and he's just gonna feel a head full of extensions. And that he did and he didn't even notice. He had his hand all through my tape in extensions. He was just oblivious. He was just like, yes. So if you're stressing about that, don't because boys don't even notice. Anyway, that's a segue story back to the hair extensions. I was living my absolute best life. They were long, luscious, but I'm not gonna lie. They are a lot to maintain, especially if you are a coastal girl like me and I was going in the ocean every single day and salt water is not ideal for hair extensions. So I had them in for a few years and then I decided to get them out. Oh my gosh. They got matted. I was swimming. If you don't know what swimming is, <laughs> this is what it looks like. I was swimming for sport and I came out and they were matted in a ball. I was laughing. I was like, this is just hilarious at this point. My whole hair was a ball. My mum basically started crying because we tried to get them out. We tried to unravel, untangle this matted mess and we couldn't. It was too far gone. So my mum and I were laughing crying, chopping my hair. I was genuinely almost bald by the end of this. My mom felt so sorry for me, but I was just laughing. I was like, 
whatever. Like I wear my hair in a slick back bun anyway. But at that point, I think I went on socials. I went on stories and I said, don't ever let me do that again. Don't ever let me get hair extensions. A few years later, we find ourselves here and I want a full hair transformation. Let me show you what I want and then I'll dive into my reasoning. So today I'm going to Pello to get my color done. And then on Monday, we're going long, we're going luscious. I love this one here. That's kind of my natural color. My natural color is kind of like a dirty blonde. So I think I want it like dirty blonde throughout the root. And then I want really obvious, chunky face framing. This hair is perfection. That's what I want. And then in terms of the hair extensions, I'm like, do I either go that length or do I go like, oh, like that's stunning. I don't know. I'm going to leave it up to the professionals. I've reached this point that I'm like every single day I wear a slick back bun. I end up blow drying my hair, do some curls in it, and I put it up in a bun because it looks so thin and I don't enjoy it. I'm all for act confident and no one will question you. But at the same time, I'm like, do what makes you happy. Okay. And what is going to make me happy right now is getting Lady Lovely Locks hair. <laughs> Also, everybody who has questioned me doing this, my excuse or my reasoning has been that I have a shoot coming up at the start of February and it's for my new activewear collection. It's called House of Balance and it, oh, it's so good. Yeah, that's what we're doing right now. We're gonna get ready. We're gonna go. I'm gonna bring you along with me. We're gonna do this, Abby. Breathable, but classy. Ballet, point shoes inspired flats. Let's just dry my hair and then we'll head off for stage one of the hair transformation. Bye, Abby, love you. Concern is around like this kind of hairline. If you only live once, I want to have luscious hair again. Do you want me to? Are a great option. We can. I can also do the ones around the hairline as minis. So when we get right up to around the face where we want to fill, I halve them and make them like even more yes. invisible. Yes. I actually really like my natural color. Yeah, I love like when this. I have it back and it's like blonde through here, and yeah. then I like I like dark yeah. up here. Yeah. Well, I'm excited. My sisters call me mullet girl. Oh, <laughs> gotta fix that. <laughs> I'm literally walking around the mall like this because she said I just have to sit there for 10 minutes with this on my head and I'm like you know what I'm gonna go get a chicken sandwich while I wait for this act confident and normal question you were confident with a towel on her head but just not quite confident with her thin hair I'm getting a lot of straight oh no okay I'm in the line for my chicken sandwich and this has officially fallen on my head And you're making me feel validated that my hair is so fine. So much thick here, yeah. and then you go to like here. Why do you, if you think it's breakage, I can handle that. I think your hair is fine and it's wavy. And typically yeah. like wavy curly hair is more delicate. Yeah. I feel like that's too low. Exactly. Yeah. Wow, this, this is an artwork, guys. This it is. is. This Honestly, is a... the amount of time that you take to I love, do I this. love, I feel, yes. I feel like I'm in good hands. Yeah. Give me confidence. Yeah. <laughs> All I wanted when I was little, I'd be like, Mom, I'm so excited to have long, luscious hair like you and boobs. I didn't get either. Oh, <laughs> you're, still, you're still waiting I'm for still the day. I'm still a double A. I'm happen. still waiting for puberty. Right, me too, <laughs> when I'm pregnant, I'm like, guys, yeah, I have hair, I have boobs. Like, I wouldn't be pregnant forever. But do you? <laughs> yes. Yeah, I love being pregnant. I actually do. I can't move, but um, I look amazing. <laughs> I look great sitting down, but like, I just can't walk. I look great sitting down. <laughs> That's literally perfection. That's yeah, who's is who? What is? <laughs> oh my gosh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I love the color. Yes. And same. imagine when I yes. don't have a mullet, how good it's gonna look. <laughs> that actually scared me for a second because I thought I thought I missed the lounge. Oh, I'm overtired. <laughs> Can you imagine if I just I just went. 
oh, that is something I would do. Anyway, wow. Wow. All I was going to say is why? Why is getting your hair done so exhausting? Like, you do nothing. And as you saw, she matched me for my hair extension colors. She's going to do three different colors on me, which is really exciting because I feel like the blend will look really good. Anyway, I'm sweating. I will see you guys on Monday for the best bit, the extensions. <laughs> The day we've been waiting for, we, we. meaning me. <laughs> How beautiful wow. it is. So this is your main blonde, yep. and then this is your low light, and then your more natural blonde, and then your pop at the front. Oh my gosh. Okay, we've got the back section in. Apparently there's a whole lot of hair to go. I'm the most excited for these front bits. I don't want to say I'm self-conscious about it because like it's fine, but that was kind of the driving reason as to why I was getting hair extensions, just like this section here. I'm just really excited to like fill this out. This color match, you just can't even tell. For someone like me that has super fine hair, like I can't even feel them. Okay, these keratin bonds are honestly an art form. So she had 85 pieces to put in my hair, but because my hair is just so thin and fine, she ended up cutting a lot of them in half or even like quarters, I think. So technically, maybe I have like 160 separate keratin bonds placed in my hair and it ended up taking seven hours, but because she really took the time to make sure that you're not gonna see them because I do wear my hair up. So I just am so grateful at the time and care she took in placing all of these. So I I feel like to blend, this piece nearly needs to be like fairly cut off. I don't have any comments. Okay. I'm like, you do you. Okay, I'm gonna play with it and then take it shorter where yeah, I need to. Yeah. This is actually very unlike me. Usually I have an opinion or an exact vision of how I want my hair, but in terms of cutting extensions, I'm like, this is so far out of my comfort zone and expertise. I'm like, you do you, take the reins, I trust you. For this first cut, I really wanted to keep it long and whimsical because I have that shoot coming up. So I kind of said like, do whatever you wanna do, like keep it kind of extravagant and then maybe I'll come back in a few weeks and get it chopped more natural. Yeah, I'm interested to see how I feel with these for the next few weeks, but let me know what you guys think of the length. I I'm love getting more pop from this front face. Oh, and the color, like it's literally my Pinterest board. <gasps> so good. And so those colors are perfect. Oh my gosh. I mean, we still have to decide on the length if we're keeping it, but I feel like you're trialing this length I'm for nervous. a couple of days. I'm nervous. And then we can easily we can easily cut it. You can't put it back on, but we can easily Cut it. Like we've matched your texture. Yes. So it's not like even though it's long, it still looks like oh, let's what just, your hair would be if it was long. Let's leave it. <laughs> she, she wants to have like a week or something. Gonna, oh my gosh, my friend's gonna be like, you're not a Barbie anymore. I am. Okay. I don't know how you covered this. We got there. We got there. That is that is artistry mastery. Oh, oh my gosh, I actually love it. I Yay. love it. I don't know how you did this. Literally oh. surgery, but we got there. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> wow, I love it. Should we get a couple of little photos at the front? Yes. Okay, it's a few days later. I look like death because I feel like death because mummy is Sarah. I am Sarah, but I'm also sick. 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 I'm sick. I was up vomiting last night, which was not ideal. Malachi was sick and I ended up getting it. I you're sick. You're okay. You're fine. Am I? Are you? I think you're okay. Yeah, it's a few days later and I'm in the same outfit. If you can't tell, this is my favorite outfit at the moment. If you have questions, pants are by Soleil Soleil and top is by Kavari. Anyway, I figured I would vlog because Fox was asking like, how is my hair so long and I don't have my clip-ins in because Foxy always sees me getting ready. Also, I haven't done it since getting it done. This is post sleep, post sickness hair. So don't judge the style. Foxy always sees me put my clip-ins in and like get ready, but I wanted to show him they stay in like that. I can't take them out. Feel up here. It's like glued to my hair. Why is it like glued to your hair? My clips, I have to put in and out and in and out and it's annoying. But these, it just sticks to my head and I can just have hair for like four to six months. This is the worst time to give you an after because like I said, it's not styled, it's not done. I actually want your opinions, honest opinions. I think I've made up my mind, but we left it really long, like Rapunzel hair. We've left it this long. 
for the shoot, my activewear shoot, which is in like two weeks. Also, side note, Fox just captured a dragonfly in his net. There was a dragonfly stuck in the house. So he um, requested a lolly for his hard work. Yeah, as I said, the kind of like concept and underlying concept of the activewear campaign is like this wacky Alice in Wonderland undertone. So I think the long oh, whimsical hair one? is cool. For like life, I was gonna keep it this long. I think the ends need to be thinned out a little bit because I think it's obvious yeah. just by my head maybe or just like the density of my hair that it should be thin at the ends to look natural so that's option one or do we lob like this much off i feel like that's a more natural kind of length but we'll do this for the shoot live in it for a little bit maybe thin it out in the ends or i chop like this much off but kirby just wanted me to kind of like live in it for a little bit see how i felt and then i get to go back in and have like a consult refresh potential cut what do you think about my hair i love it do you really Stunning, thank you so much. In future vlogs, I'll give you updates as to like what I think about the extensions in terms of like livability, how easy they are. Because if you are watching this thinking, I wanna get extensions too. So far, I prefer these over tapes. They are just so much more seamless. Like there are so many extensions in my hair, like super close to my hairline, but you just, you honestly, you just can't And these see are them. lollies. If you want lollies, then come get them. Yeah, you can get lollies, you can get hair extensions, whatever you want. Yeah, so far, I think these are my favorite kind of extensions I've had. I've worked out in them. I haven't swam and I haven't washed my hair yet, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, I'm really happy with them so far. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap up this vlog now. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like because it really supports my channel. And make sure you subscribe Yay. because we upload new videos every single week. Okay, see ya. Bye. Bye.